Younger Brian watched tons of tutorials. Just one more and I'll be ready, he thought. As he grabbed his third Snickers bar for the day, he went through tutorial after tutorial for weeks, months on end. But he never learned anything from them. He started projects, but they never really got anywhere. And he quit over and over and over again. So, you want to make your first game. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome to hell. <laughs> I'm Brian, and I'm a full-time game developer. And my goal is to take you from an aspiring developer to a game developer that has some success of their own. The first thing you must know is to start now. Seriously, don't wait one more day. You need to start now. If you have any apprehensions about starting, let go of them. Seriously, even if you don't know any coding, just download Unity or whatever engine you want to use and start now. When I finally decided to stop eating burgers all day and actually do something with my life. I just watched tons of tutorials. I just thought that was going to be the thing that was going to make me successful. So every day I would wake up and I would find a new course to go through. These courses would take me three or four months. They'd be filled with projects that I didn't care about and I would never actually finish. I'd just do them for the sake of doing them. And all of these projects were filled with pointless information that I wasn't going to need anyway. I've always thought that the best course of action is to just jump straight in. And this has recently been confirmed for me. In the past few months, me and my business partner have hired an artist to work full-time making art for our indie game. His name is Jonathan, and Jonathan basically just did art and animations his entire career. Long story short, we recently decided to add the Steam inventory to the game to let people get cosmetics and unlock cosmetics at the end of games. Coding this requires quite a lot of knowledge and isn't a simple task, even for me. But Jonathan said he wanted to try doing it for himself, and believe it or not, within a month he made the entire system system from scratch all by himself without even asking me how to do anything. He started from nothing and basically learned to code from scratch in that time. And this was a task that even I was intimidated by, even after already creating the whole game. You can do the same thing with your game, just break it down. Sure, making a whole game from scratch when you know nothing might be overwhelming, but if you just break the game down into smaller sections and then break those sections down into even smaller sections, then eventually you'll get to problems that you'll find are quite easy to Google the answers for. All of coding is Googling anyway, so it's a skill you're gonna have to learn sooner or later. So why not start now? It might be shaky at first, but doing the actual thing is the only good way to learn. The second thing you must do is market your game and start doing it now. Even if it's just a passion project, it doesn't really matter what you do to market your game as long as you're doing something. And it's good to get yourself out there now so that you can suck for a while because your first few months on YouTube or whatever platform you decide to post on, you won't get much traction. When I started my first YouTube channel, it took me four months to just get one subscriber that wasn't my family. But once I got that one, it only took two more months for me to get my first ever paycheck on YouTube. And all of a sudden, I had thousands of people that would have been interested in the games that I wanted to make. The harsh truth is that there are tons of games out there that don't get the recognition they deserve because they weren't marketed properly. It might be scary, but just like with anything, just like what I said in the previous point, the clarity comes from doing the action. You're not going to get any further by just preparing to do it for months on end. Just start it now. By starting, you're already ahead of 99% of people. Just pick a platform you want to post on and just authentically write down or make a video about what you've been getting up to with your game. And over time, you're going to get better at this and you're going to start building some traction. I started marketing myself before I even knew what game I wanted to make. And eventually, that led to my first commercial game being played by YouTubers with tens of millions of subscribers. If you need some one-to-one -one help from me on how to go about doing this, you can click my coaching link in the description. The next point is practical and incredibly important. Leave yourself at least one month towards the end of the game development cycle to do some testing. Over the course of developing your game, hopefully you would have developed a fan base that can help you with this. Seriously, do not leave this to the last minute. For me, I thought my game was all good and you might think the same thing, but your game, just like mine, is probably pretty fucked up. After the first 30 minute test we did, I had about 20 or 30 new problems to worry about. And you think after you fix all of that, you're gonna be good, right? No. The next time you test, you're gonna have the same amount of bugs, except this time there may be one or two less. And it's just gonna be a cycle of testing, 
finding a bunch of bugs, fixing them and repeating. And if you don't leave yourself at least a month for this, it's gonna be incredibly stressful. Ask me how I know. The next thing you need to know is that it's going to get boring and that's okay. Even the things we love doing aren't going to be fun all of the time. That's why it's incredibly important to have some sort of purpose behind what you're doing. That isn't just making your game. That is beyond just making the game. Imagine you're about three or four months into your development cycle. All the hard features have been added and you're currently just grinding out new items, new skins, whatever you need to grind out to just get the game done. And every day seems like it's the same thing over and over again. You begin to question why you even started doing this in the first place. Your to-do list is getting bigger and bigger. It doesn't seem to be shrinking at all. Now, if your purpose was to just make this game, get it done and release it, you'd probably question, you know, what's the point if I'm not even finding it fun? What will I learn out of this? I've already made most of my game anyway. And you would just quit. But if you took some time to really journal and think of a deeper reason for all of this. You know, for me, my family struggled a lot when I was growing up and having a successful game would free them from this. So spend some time to really think about why you're doing this. Think about what the success of your game could mean for you beyond just the money and what it would do for yourself but what it would do to the people around you, how you could help them. You know for me my family wasn't exactly that well off growing up and my parents still have the very low paying job that they had 20 years ago and success for me means being able to finally free them from that job. If you also have this deeper purpose, then it will be a lot easier to carry on through the times where it inevitably is going to get really difficult. You need to take care of every facet of your life whilst you're making the game. Don't just make this game the sole focus of your entire life. At the end of the day, what's the fun in having a million dollars in your bank account if your blood pressure is so high that the doctor has to check whether the machine has broken? That's what happened to me. Take care of your fitness and your mental health as well and it will reflect back into your game. And the same goes the other way. If you don't care about your fitness or your mental health, it will also reflect reflect in your game. I didn't really get any success online until I started caring about this stuff. I just spun my wheels for years like I said to you earlier. So if you're anything like I was, drop the chocolate bars, start going to the gym, and start journaling and meditating. Seriously, you'll be surprised how much that stuff helps. Even if it sounds cringe now, just give it a try. I feel your pain. I was once in a situation I didn't want to be in too. I had a 9 to 5 job that I really hated going to. I would leave my house at 6am and be back by 8pm. I would live for the weekends and always got depressed on a Sunday evening when I knew Monday was right around the corner. I hated the fact that every day was the exact same and that there was no prospects for me to improve beyond just getting, you know, a 10% salary raise in the next 3 years if I was lucky. I was in that situation too. But now I can do whatever I want whenever I want. I live in Thailand and I can live wherever the fuck I want. I take care of my fitness, my mental health is good, my blood pressure is no longer extremely high, and life is just generally good. I want that for you too. And don't worry, there's so much space for more game developers. Think about how many gamers are in the world. They outnumber us thousands to one. There's always going to be an audience out there for the game that you want to make. So start it today. And if you need my one-to-one -one help with anything, my coaching link is in the description. See you next video.